it is about time. Let's have this chit chat. This is literally about hair. Natural hair, wig hair. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, for the past few years, let me just start with the journey real quick as I'm about to take my wig off. Um, the past few years, as I was working my corporate job, I remember feeling like, oh my goodness, I was working with a certain group of individuals and like a certain group of people and I just remember feeling like, you know, mm, I feel like I'm a little too black, you know? Like I'm just feeling like I'm just a little too black. I really should never have ever have felt that way. I allowed them to make me feel less than and that should have never been the case. But aside from that, sorry, as I'm spraying this stuff to get this off of my head, I remember I had some long individuals and it was just like, you couldn't tell me that that was not my hair. And they thought it was my hair because most other groups of people think that whatever hairstyle we have, that they think that that is our hair. They don't realize that we can switch up our hair any, any given second of the day. And I remember all of the chit chatter about, oh yeah, what happened to your hair? Once I took my braids out finally, then it was just like, well, what happened to your hair? I mean, like the men would co make comments about my hair all the time. The women especially were horrible. It was always like, oh, I like the other hairstyle better. You know, they don't realize that it's actually pretty offensive. They don't realize that. And I can't even necessarily blame them. They don't, they just don't realize that. <sighs> It's Black History Month, right? Let's just, let's, we, I, I gotta talk about it. I, I just gotta share all how I feel about wearing wigs and having natural hair and this, that, and the other. They have no idea how these comments made me feel. They would have never known, right? So what I did was I decided to start wearing um, a wig. I didn't think that I was gonna be wearing my wig for as long as I did. I got so attached to wearing that wig. Like, y'all, I got so attached to wearing that wig like it became my identity okay so i started wearing i had like one of my girlfriends make me a wig and it was great like i just you know i was trying to switch it up sometimes and wear my natural hair sometimes and then and then it eventually it just became this thing where i was always in a wig and that was like the worst thing and then it didn't make it any better that we had covid and you know i lost a whole lot of my hair it's probably the worst thing that could have ever happened to me like ever but it happened I lost all of the not all of it but I lost a lot of my hair that was up here most of that hair and I really thought that it was because of my wig so I was like okay you know what I'm not gonna be wearing these wigs anymore I'm gonna just find another style to wear so then I started wearing clip-ins I was really trying to do different things with my hair so that I did not become so reliant on my wigs and then eventually once I started really learning how to put my wigs on then it just became a thing where it's like well I'm wearing my wigs all the time now wearing wigs has just become like the thing that I did if I was getting ready I had to make sure that I had my wig on if I was going anywhere I had to make sure that I had my wig on and it just became this thing where it was just like uh, I don't like this feeling anymore you know because I don't want to ever feel like a wig is is like my identity you know wigs are great they're super super fun um, you can allow it to you know for your hair to grow but I feel like in order for, for me to be truly authentic to myself I should be able to switch up my hair and my hairstyle not primarily be a wig so I'm on this hair journey and um, while I'm on this hair journey I decided that I was gonna cut my hair so as my hair started to grow back in nice and full I got my hair cut into a shape so here I am in the car um, right before my appointment started and I just started taking my hair down and finger detangling my hair, just making sure that I got as much of the shedded hair as possible. And of course I gotta show you my length a little bit, you know, but my hair was so dirty, it was just time to let it go. Best thing ever. It does? Mm -hmm. 
these are all things that I really do miss being in the hair shop. I just love just going in, getting my hair done, catered to by a professional. Like, what? So anyway, she is blow drying my hair and we're going over the shape that we're going to do for my hair. And, you know, it's just like a little consultation type of thing, but basically telling me how much we're going to cut and why and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I was pretty excited um, about this cut. I've been wanting to have my hair cut for the longest time. Shay is super professional. I love her hands. Her She has growing hands, okay? She's been braiding my hair for a while now. And I love her work. I trust her work. She's one of the only stylists that I trust with my hair. And I highly recommend her in LA. She is amazing. I can just tell you right now that once this once this hair grows out, nobody tell me nothing, nothing. And then of course, I went right back home and I put my braids back in and did an install. Like what? And I remember doing this video on on that hair, and I was so obsessed, y'all. I was so completely obsessed with how my hair looked like I was like oh my gosh like why am I covering up my hair the final straw for me was when I decided to start working out again and it was like I remember for Valentine's Day I wanted to work out and both me and one of my girlfriends we were on the phone we were just like you know what maybe I shouldn't work out because I don't want I always like to check my ball cap to see if I'm missing any hair and usually I'm not missing any hair I do pretty good with my ball cap methods now but yeah so I remember talking to my girlfriend about that and that we were just like yeah as she's telling me and I'm telling myself like yeah I don't think it's a good idea to work out because I don't want to mess up my wig I want my wig I, want, I need my hairline on my wig to still look good and I was just like I'm really sacrificing my hair for the sake of looking good. And I'm just like, that is so dumb. Because I wear wigs all the time, and that's the problem. I wear them all the time. And on top of that, the fact that it's Black History Month, and it's like I'm in somebody else's hair and it's not my, my own. Like, you know, I should be embracing my own hair. And here's the thing. I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into my hair because I love my hair so much. Before I go into any wig or anything like that or into any braids, I always take care of my hair. So it's like, why do I do all of these things just to cover it back up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the purpose? People hit me up and ask me all the time, like, what products do you think I should use? You know, because your hair grows so fast and this, that, and the other. And I like, I literally send them so many different products that I, like, you know, the products that I use that I love. And it's like, but what is the point if I'm using these products, but I'm jumping into a wig? Like, I, I don't know how else I can like really describe this. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with wearing a wig. There's not, and I'm still gonna wear wigs. It's just that I don't want that to become my identity. I wanna be known as that girl. I don't wanna be known as Storm. Oh yeah, I identify her as the girl who wears wigs all the time. Does that, I, I hope that makes any sense. I don't want to be identified as that as, at all. I want to be identified as the girl who can do any hairstyle. She's wearing her hair in a natural style. She's wearing her hair in a wig if she wants to. She's wearing her hair in braids if she wants to. She's wearing different styles. I don't want to just be subjected to this one look. No offense to the girls who do that. I just don't want that to be, I don't want that to become my identity. And on top of that, if I'm going to be giving people advice, I want you to be able to relate to my journey, right? So I'm a 4C girl, okay? I'm a 4C girl. That's my hair texture. It's blow dry right now, but that's my hair texture. 
okay it is very very tightly coiled and I'm okay with that like I don't want any other um, curl pattern I, I'm okay with what God gave me but I know that there are a lot of women who feel like oh god I wish I had a different texture or I don't know how to manage my hair I don't know what to do with my hair like I want you guys to see my journey because I feel like there's power in the journey in the process of us growing our hair the other thing is I've always wanted to prove to men and to women especially of our kind who don't think that black women can grow hair I've always wanted to be that one amongst the other women who are doing the same thing but I've always wanted to just say like hey look you can now see my journey I done cut my hair off lost my hair didn't cut it off and now we're growing we're growing it back you know and we're growing it back healthy and strong and it can it's black hair is beautiful oh my god y'all this feels so good to just scratch my hair Ooh. natural hair is my baby my hair has always been my love and i feel like when you see a woman or a man start from a process that didn't look so promising and get to a destination that happens to look like wow i love your hair or i love your this or i love your that i love that house well you see the house now now that the house has been built but you didn't see the process that took it but it's like um a trust the process type of thing it's a, a enjoy the journey you know and I think that is so powerful and I think that it's just time for it's time for us to embrace our hair it's it's time it, for me I, I really feel very strongly about this topic because I have like I said I've loved my natural hair for so long but I've, I've literally been hiding I've been hiding my hair and I and I I did try different styles like I said I tried clip-ins and stuff like that but I just you know why I didn't like the clip-ins I didn't I only wore the clip-ins in the very front and it was because that's where I lost most of my hair so I had like a clip in here clip in here clip in here clip in here and it was cool but it was just like ugh, I just can't wait till I get my hair back also remember when I did lose my hair I, I remember wanting to cut it all off and just start over and everybody was just like don't do it don't do it just just let it grow out and it's like here's the thing here's the thing especially if you have damaged hair you can sit there and let it grow out but that damaged hair is still there and worse if it if it decides to grow up the shaft now you have more damaged hair i would have much preferred to just cut it off and just start over but here we are and i'm starting my journey now and i'm really really happy about where my hair is right now i'm really happy even though my hair looks absolutely disgusting looks crazy like all up here but um it's kind of pace it down because of the wig you know what i'm saying i wanted to start the journey off that way you can say oh okay once my hair gets to the length the goal that i'm going for um then you can say well you know what i can trust storm's channel because she didn't just pop out the blue and her hair is now long again and I didn't see the journey. I didn't see the struggle. I didn't see when her hair couldn't curl up. I didn't see this. I didn't see when the products were not working and, and the outcome was not what she was looking for with a certain product or a certain style. You know, I wanted it to be where you can come to my channel and you can trust. You can trust me because you've seen the journey. That's my goal. But I've heard so many comments. Like, I've heard comments from people like, black men who said stuff like you're too light-skinned which I don't feel like I'm that light I feel like I'm just brown but I've heard comments from our men saying stuff like you're too light-skinned to have such nappy hair and it's like what does that even mean you you so you really thought you thought you ate with that comment like you really did think that women who are more on the fair skin side that they have they have straighter hair like you wish that we could turn back this this narrative that people who are light-skinned have to have straight hair and people that are dark-skinned have to have short hair it's like it's so dumb i remember this one particular braider specifically and she literally said to me that Girls who are natural, who wear their hair in natural styles, need makeup. Just imagine 
somebody else who has like low self-esteem hearing a comment like that that is so offensive natural hair is beautiful like look at this fro what the hair that came out of my head um from having it braided down i feel like i'm stripping naked in front of you guys that y'all our hair is so beautiful it is so sacred no matter how um what texture you have embrace the texture that you guys have love the texture that you have because it could be worse it could be you have no hair it could be that you have alopecia I bet you that they are just like i would be grateful to just have a head full of hair i can guarantee you that like i want to get into that habit of of washing my hair once a week or once every once every week and a half or whatever i want to get in the habit where i'm working out and it's like okay let me go home and let me rejuge my hair you know what i'm saying not have to worry about having a band over my my like all the way down i just i'm i'm like i'm over it i kind of got over wearing um having to uh, wrap up my hair at night and wear and like protect my my lace kind of got tired of it like right now i'm just just kind of tired of it and i want to just have my own hairline <laughs> you know i don't have to hide my hairline you, you know like this is this is my hair i mean aside from you know the gunk but this is my hair you know what i'm saying like this is my baby right here and i love that i don't have to i don't have to switch i don't have to do anything i don't have to shade it in i don't have to go um and edit the picture or the or try to edit a video or try to hide my like i don't have to do any of that do you understand do y'all do y'all understand and i just want to share this journey with you guys and i'm really really happy about this if you catch me in a wig it doesn't mean that I don't like my hair or it doesn't mean that I got tired of my hair. Sometimes we do have to have a break from our hair. Sometimes we do want to just switch it up sometimes and it's okay. As long as that is not what identifies you. And when you take the time to love on and nourish your hair, everything else will come. You know, the length will come, it'll grow, all those things will, will happen. But we really do have to take the time to love on our hair and nourish it. I'm so happy to be on this journey. <sighs> I just, it felt so good taking that that wig off. Oh my God, y'all don't even understand. It felt so good. Like, y'all gonna see me with my natural, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video. Love y'all.